Right. Hello, welcome to iRacing. Get ready. And here we are. Oh, we got a rough. Here we are at Interlagos in the Radicals Championship. He hasn't gone, and there is death behind. Big time. Superb. Easy does it. Bit of a bump there from someone. Car number one took a whack. Oh, it's Hans Janssen. So, 17 laps. I've qualified 12th. I'm still in 12th. Just poke my nose in here. Let him know I'm here. Whoops. And he's gone. And he's gone. Hooray! So, no one really behind. One and a half seconds to Javier. Let's get a move on then. So, the top 10, there's 19 in this race. The top 10 all separated by one second in qualifying. So, it's a super tight grid. And I was only a second and a half. So, let's get a move on. Javier behind. He didn't qualify. I think he's sandbagging because he's car number three so he's going to be a quick boy anyway let's just try and keep up with hands in front cool still only the first lap don't drive good let's go well we've made it through the first lap good stuff so radicals really enjoying the series this season absolute dog's dinner of the last race should have finished on a podium, finished fifth, that was at um, the, the, the Spa, when I spun twice. Has he passed him? He's passed him. Nice pass from Hans. We've got Patrick in front now. Um, yeah, and the race before that was at Silverstone, and that was a good finish as well, so it's a fixed setup. Cars are really fast, really drivable. They're lots of fun, unless you get hit from behind at speed. So let's see how we get on here. There's loads in the session. There's, I think, five splits. Split four. So I'm slowly climbing my way up, and I'm also car 17 of 19, so I'm not expected to do really well. So I've qualified really well. In practice, I was spinning everywhere, but I think I've got it now. Famous last words. I really need to just get away from Javier. Let's try and stick with Patrick, stay in his draft. And hopefully, that will drag me away from Javier. Javier is in my draft, but hopefully this draft in front should serve me better. Goodness me, that was slow through there. No wonder he got taken on the last lap. That could be a good sign. And I feel fairly quick on this, um, this track. Oh, he's going defensive already. Throwing me off a bit because I couldn't see my turning point. But we're getting close. I think we're going to have him at some point. Just let him know we're there. He's gone a bit wide there. This is all good. Stand behind him, watching what he's doing, what his favourite line is, how he defends. Not really worried about Javier. eyes forwards on these boys. Not spin out at Jung Hao. Where's he gone? 
Oh, he's back. Okay, he's got a latency issue, so that might help us. Let's close this gap. It's only 0.5 seconds. This is a crucial corner to get right. So if you go too wide, you run the risk of going off track really slows you down and now Javier is one and a half seconds back so we're doing okay against Javier. Concentrating really hard on keeping up with Patrick. Doesn't take too wide a line through this corner. That's going to make him slower overall. Especially as you go up this hill. Thirty point four, not bad. Thirty point nine. Wow, it's the quickest I've ever gone in these rounds here. A little bit messy from Patrick. Should be able to catch up fairly easily now. Put a bit of pressure on. See what he's going to do. Just stick my nose in there. Let him know we're here. Might throw him off a bit wider. This is a good race so far. There's five of us in a line, all fairly close. Oh, he's locked his brakes a bit. I know we can get closer than this. bit of time there to Patrick but put a tiny gap in to Javier. Patrick's staying with hands which is good for me. So if I can catch Patrick up, get something done then I'm not going to be too far away from hands. Two seconds to Javier, so I think we can safely discount Javier behind us now. section that's brought us right up to Patrick now. Well, he's gone a bit wide. Can we make that count? We've got good pace here. 
Let's just go up the inside and see what happens. He's backing off, okay. Lovely. Let's uh, keep concentrating. Don't want to spin this straight after getting the pass, which is my usual MO. Patrick behind is a little bit wobbly at the moment. second now to Patrick behind so already we've opened up a bit of a gap and three seconds to Javier we're a second on Hans that's drafting range Do anything which lets Patrick back in. Got to keep pushing to get the hands. Been very wide there. It's a slow corner, so it's hard to capitalise. Much easier to capitalise on this corner. Get tyres over that lip. Uh, pulls you round. Same here. There's quite a few of these curbs actually that have this little lip on the inside and if you can get your tyres onto them it just guides you through the corner. sequence that's 0.4 seconds what's happening here oh we have a back marker is he getting in people's way this could be handy this could be very handy in fact Although we don't want him to slow us down so the guys behind catch us. Can we get around him now? Come on. No. He's not slowing, is he? I'm sure Hans must be a little bit annoyed because he's brought me right on his tail. Okay, that could be our sign to go. Okay, Diego's pulled right over. Brought me right up again, although just about half a second. But what is good is now I've got in between us. Oh, Javier's dropped right off. Patrick's there, two and a half. So Diego's going to slow those guys down. Just show him the mirrors. This is exciting stuff, I've got to say. My mouth is absolutely bone dry. But I think if we keep plugging away, we can get Hans here.
Well, where was um, Patrick gone behind? We've got Vincent Splitter. He's now just 2.6 seconds. Where did he come from? Halley, Halil rather, six seconds. Where did he come from? Good. Keep the pressure on the hands. So I think we've definitely got the taking of him. What are we on? Lap 11 already. Wow. If it's going to be anywhere. I think it's going to be in the middle section of the track. Oh, no, no, oh, dang. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. It's a bit of a service road here, let's get back on. No one's gonna kill us. Who's that? That's Halil, so Vincent and Halil have gone past. I mean, they were gaining so quick anyway. Oh, that's a shame. So where are we now, 10th? Should be 10th. Diego behind us again. Hopefully he's not going to be a problem. He's seven laps down. So he's one of the guys who obviously crashed at the start line. car was damaged it feels a little bit sluggish now but I don't think it's damaged anything what I did was just have a tiny fairly low speed spin onto a service road Vincent seem to be just pulling away at a consistent speed so I'm gonna pretty much say that I think even if I hadn't spun I would have probably been overtaken by those two within about three or four laps anyway certainly before the end of the race but so far what are we up to 3x that was a spin and an off track no damage no collisions we are looking at a massive four increase in I rating, but that's all right. It's moving in the right direction. And, a f and 3x over this, uh, the space of this race means my safety rating is going to go up as well. So this is going to be a nice little Brucey bonus. What a shame for the spin though, because we were really doing well to put a bit of pressure on Hans. And then we'd have had the... Um, the twin threat of Vincent and Halil behind to look forward to as well. Still, let's keep going. You never know what's going to happen in front. It's quite an easy track to get it wrong and overcook it. I can't really think how I managed to spin on that. Must have been just coming in a bit too hot with a bit too much of a tight turn on corner entry. Very similar to my second problematic spin at Spa.
Diego's keeping a nice respectful distance. I'm sure he's probably quicker. Bear in mind this car will be repaired after being damaged as well. Yeah, Halil and Vincent are edging further and further away. So ultimately that spin has cost me nothing. Three laps left. This race has flown by. You've just done a 31.7. Sector 1 is... Lap times are the still pretty Two times, okay. consistent. They've all been around 131, mid-131, so... The car is okay, it's just the guys in front are a little bit quicker. Seven seconds now to Halil. So, and they're right up on the tail of hands. So, yeah, they are fast guys. I wonder if they'll get in before the end. Because I was less than half a second behind hands. So that would put them half a second behind where I was. Getting a tiny bit close behind. I don't think we can actually, to be honest, crew chief. Nice encouragement, I appreciate it, but my eyes work, I can do the sums. Oh, he's half a second behind Hans now. With two laps to go. Wow. What a good battle that is. Two laps left. Who's actually behind? Oh, it's Javier again. We're back to Javier behind. Where's Patrick? Patrick slipped well down the field. Oh, he's five laps down. So he's obviously had some sort of accident. I think they must put him still in the pits, to be honest. That's a shame. Because that was quite a good little battle to get past Patrick. I think it's noticeably more aggressive, my driving in the last season and a half, perhaps. I used to be quite conservative, but certainly in the space of the last six or seven weeks, I've started to just ask a few more questions. Really trying to get the most out of the car. I mean, I'm less than, my fastest lap here is only about a second, second and a half off the leader, which is much better than my usual standards. I mentioned earlier, I'm car number 17 in a split of 19 cars, so I'm near the bottom of this split. And this is a fairly good acquittal, to be honest. So last lap, let's hope Diego's not going to do anything really silly to prove a point. When he's 0.3 behind, stop weaving around, boy. going to weave, lose traction, weave into a wall. Mm -hmm. 
So, started 12th, finishing 10th. That's pretty good, top 10. 19 car split. Car number 17, finishing 10th is really happy with that. Three incident points, that was no big deal. Had a nice little battle with Hans. Hans, oh look! Oh, Han what's happening up there? Hans, Halley, Vincent's lost it. Never mind. Okay, well, there it is. What a good race, I really enjoyed that. I'll uh, see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.